Hi everybody, my name is Christine and I'm here at the Washington Clean Energy Test Beds at the University of Washington to teach you guys a little bit about organic solar cells. Now when I say organic, I don't mean organic produce like you see in the grocery store. Organic in this case just means carbon based. So we're using materials that are based off of the element carbon. Now here I have an inorganic silicon based solar cell um, that you might recognize. Uh, if you've ever seen an image of a solar cell, you've likely seen the iconic blue colored uh, solar cells that we often uh, find in solar fields and so forth. Um, and these make up the majority of the um, solar cells that are being produced in our world today. Um, but I also have an organic solar cell, which you can see right here. Um, and this is the one that's made from the carbon-based material. And specifically um, in this solar cell, uh, we're using a molecule called P3HT. So here are some close-ups of the solar cells, this one being the silicon-based solar cell. And this is the organic solar cell I just showed you. And here we have another organic-based solar cell made with a different conductive material. Now, both of these solar cells can take energy from the sun and convert it into electricity that we can use to power our homes, schools, and the entire electric grid. Silicon-based solar cells have made a huge impact by providing more accessible solar energy to consumers. However, silicon-based solar cells are very expensive to produce and they're quite brittle, which means they can be broken easily. So I'm going to actually show you how easily it is we can break this. Wow, that broke super easily. You can see that just by applying a small amount of pressure, that shattered, which tells you just how easily these can be broken. However, organic-based solar cells like this one are made with flexible materials. So you can see how easily I'm bending this. It's basically doing the worm over here. Because it's so flexible and they can be made semi-transparent, we can even imagine implementing these organic-based solar cells in windows, uh, buildings, or cars, or other places where clearly silicon-based solar cells would completely shatter. They are also way cheaper to make and can be made via roll-to-roll -roll processing where a conductive ink is used to print the solar cells, almost like how you print a newspaper. Here, you can see an example of a machine that prints solar cells like newspapers using roll-to-roll -roll processing. As you can see, this is a super exciting and promising technology for the future of solar energy. And scientists are still working to increase the efficiencies of organic solar cells so that we can see them around our world soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video on organic solar cells. I've also linked an informational worksheet in the description of this video below if you want to learn even more about organic solar cells. Thanks for stopping by.